This is the classic and old school NES clone. It's supposed to be able to play all of your original NES game, and it includes the system as well as two controllers and all the cables that you'll need for only $20. <laughs> The classic in is more reminiscent of a top loader NES than the OG NES and features some pretty similar color styling to the original NES. Getting to unboxing the unit, you can obviously see it's just a NES system that plays your NES games and it says that it does not include the games, it just plays your original games that you may have on hand. So it includes two controllers, the cables, the system, and all you need is your games. Going around the box here, there's some old school Mario type styling. There's like this foil old school print all over the box, a little badging looks pretty good that's about all that's on the outside of the box now moving on to inside of the box you're presented with the controllers as well as the system itself pulling the controllers out the controllers don't look too similar to an original nes controller with the rounded shape they do feel more comfortable in hand and the d-pad as well as the ena buttons feel almost identical to my original nes controllers select and start is a bit stiff but the controllers feel solid overall but we'll test the functionality of them once we get to the testing now of course you get two of these controllers so you can play two player games included in the box and then you also get your av cables as well as a micro usb cable for power and then a wall adapter for that micro usb cable and then here's the classic in system going around the classic in system on the rear have your av port as well as your micro usb port to power the unit on the top of the unit you have this striping very similar to an original nes and then very similar power and reset buttons just blacked out the power light is actually in their logo up on top so we'll see how that looks later on but the classic in is a fraction of the size of an original nes and it's supposed to be able to do all the things that the nes could do for only twenty dollars now i haven't gotten to testing it yet at this point but i've read online that it's pretty much flawless with any original nes game but if you have any homebrew games that aren't original Nintendo games, it seems to chug with those for whatever reason. And then you have player 1 and player 2, marked by the respective dots. Top, you have your cartridge slot because it's a top loader. Now one main issue with a lot of these aftermarket clone systems is that the top cartridge slot puts a death grip on the cartridge, which is easy to see here that it does in fact put a death grip on the cartridge. So I would definitely recommend putting in a cartridge that you don't care for that much to at least break in the pins. And then once the pins are loose, I'd put in your other games because it definitely is hard to pull the game out of the system. Now I'll have to pull out an older TV with AV to test it, but we'll get right to testing it. All right, so the first game that I'm testing here is the original The Legend of Zelda. All right, so now we're in the opening of the game. We can run around. Everything seems fine. Go and grab a sword real quick. So I'm gonna mess around with this for a few more minutes just to make sure there's no major issues, but it seems to be working like the original NES would. And here's another one of the few titles that I'll be testing out. We have the original Super Mario Brothers. I feel like this is a game that most people would be playing if they get the system, so let's check it out. So loading up Super Mario Bros, pretty much the same as uh, The Legend of Zelda. It seems to run, you know, just like the original would. Now, you can get the HDMI version of the system, which costs about 20 more, so around $40, to run this through HDMI, but I'm just running it through composite AV. So, the games could potentially run even better on their other models, but uh, it's running pretty good here. And finally, I'll just try Super Mario Bros. 3. Super Mario Bros. 3 is a little bit more graphically intensive than the original Super Mario Bros., but once again, uh, seems like everything's running just fine. Just run around a bit here. I mean, yeah, honestly, uh, the system is really solid for the price. $20 for the system and the controllers. And all you need to put is your original games. This is really good if your original NES stopped working or you just want to play your original game without using your original NES. But honestly, I think it's a really, really great alternative. So in conclusion, if you don't have an original NES and you have some games lying around, or you've broken your NES, or for whatever reason you're looking to purchase an NES, I would steer clear of the overpriced NESs on eBay unless you're a collector and you really really want the original hardware this runs the games perfectly fine you could buy three of these for the price of one switch game so if you're in the market for nes right now i'd say to look at this one now i'm sure that there are alternatives from other brands as well but this one works out pretty good and this is the one that i got i'm gonna ask a favor of you if you stay this long hit the like button and if you enjoy this type of content subscribe for more that's all from me i'm out peace uh...